to a butterfly by william wordsworth william wordsworth was considered uh, was an english poet and he is considered as the poet of you know nature's poet he has written most of his poems prose essays all are related with that of nature he was born in england and his mother died when he was 8 and this uh, experience actually shapes much of his later work some of his famous works include an evening walk descriptive sketches borders uh, letters of the wordsworth family and then there are some of prose works also most of his works as i mentioned we can see the influence of nature and now uh, i assume that you have read the poem this is self analysis part try to find out the title of the poem always try to mention it in the complete sentence like the title of the poem is to a butterfly poet william wordsworth the name of the poet is or the poet is william wordsworth rhyme scheme that i used my then which is your favorite line what is the theme or central idea of the poem why did you like this poem and what are the poetic devices used here you can see that the setting of this poem is an orchard uh, where a butterfly is sitting it is resting on one of the fl flowers in the poet's orchard so here the poet is it, it is in the the speaker of the poem is the narrator itself who is a grown up person who spots a beautiful butterfly that captures his imagination and poetic fancy and being in the midst of nature with trees flowers and beautiful creatures like butterfly it takes the poet back to the sweet days of childhood where he thinks about his childhood beautiful childhood days uh, when he was more at leisure to enjoy the bounties of nature so children this is the poem to a butterfly by william wordsworth i have watched you now a full half an hour self poised upon that yellow flower and little butterfly indeed i know not if you sleep or feed how motionless not frozen seas more motionless and then what joy awaits you when the breeze has found you out among the trees and calls you forth again so in this fact first stanza uh, the poet is talking about his observation that he was watching a butterfly for a full half an hour and he feels like you know he feels that the butterfly is self confident boy self poised in the sense like self confident uh, he was watching that butterfly sitting on a yellow flower sitting on a yellow flower and he, that butterfly was that much self confident and it is said and he is calling little butterfly indeed i know not if you sleep or feel so that means it was standing that motionless and even he is not sure whether that butterfly is sleeping or whether it is sucking nectar from that yellow flower how motionless not frozen seas now here he is comparing that motionless nature of that butterfly to a frozen sea so he feels like you know he has he has used that exclamation word that means he is wonder at this sight of this motionless nature of this butterfly so he says like you know you are just motionless as a frozen sea more motionless he is repeating that word to show that uh, stationary nature of that butterfly then he is asking and then what joy awaits you when the breeze has found you out among the trees and calls you forth again so here he just want to uh, ask like when the breeze is calling you out among the trees you are overjoyed why are you overjoyed what joy is waiting you there and coming to the second stanza this plot of orchard ground is ours my tree they are my sister's flowers here rest your wings when they are weary here lodge as in a sanctuary so here the poet is describing about that orchard now from that butterfly he is thinking he looks back to his childhood days uh, and the sight of this butterfly which is described in the first stanza it is uh, it is actually reminding him of his pleasant childhood days 
so here he is asking like you know this plot of orchard in the sense like this garden it is uh, ours so when he says like it is ours so he what he wanted to mention like you know it belonged to us and and then he says like the trees that are here this belongs to me okay this belong to me and the flowers that are here it belong to my sister so he is telling like now you have that full right to stay here because this orchard ground is uh, orchard ground belongs to my uh, sister and to myself so here rest your wings when they are weary so when you are tired you can rest your wings here and here lodge as in a sanctuary and you can take rest as if you are in a sanctuary then here he keeps on explaining like come often to us fear no wrong okay so there is no need of feeling anything wrong you can come you can visit us whenever you want sit near us on the ground so that means like you can visit here and you can sit on a branch that is nearer to us we will talk of sunshine and of song and summer days when we were young sweet childish days that were as long as 20 days of now so here he is telling like we will talk of that means you can listen to our conversation you can listen to our conversation means you can listen to our talk to the talk between myself and my sister we will be talking about sunshine we will be talking about songs we will be talking about summer days okay and our, our childhood days it was sweet and then he is telling like the work as long as 20 days are now so now he feels like time is not moving fast because here each time it is like you know 20 days the i mean each day is like 20 days now that time time was moving very fast so that's upon the poem rhyme scheme and everything i will be explaining in this in the next video thank you